Hello, this is Robert, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, basically organize your role players so that they can feel in touch with the exercise without um, feeling they have to look at a thousand screens in order to see what everybody's doing. So, um, what I've done is I've used the new iframe to uh, basically log in as a particular player, and this player has got permissions to role play a number of different. Um, uh, a number of different personas. And I've set up a number of different counts to uh, basically give me an overview of what's of what's going on. So in a, in a window just off screen, I'm going to send an email from a player. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reply to David, uh, Philip Wires. So you'll see the notification comes in straight away here. And here he is. So I could go straight to that. I'm not going to do that just yet. <clears throat> um, but let's say you've got lots going on. Um, and the role play, you know, this might not be the role player's <clears throat> uh, sole job. What's happening here is I just refresh the data and I've created um, a widget which is filtering only emails to uh, people in people in the company, and we'll look at that in a minute. So I could see this. I say, oh look, I've got replies to the staff inbox. Nothing new at the moment, but someone's replied, and then that would get me to sort of go on here and see what's going on, and I can I can look at the thread. So now let me send another um, message. So what you can see here is in our everything widget. I've got player 17 sending a, a message to two people. Basically, they're, they're addressed on the thing. Um, but it doesn't appear in the staff um, inbox feed. So I know that although people are active, I can see what they're saying to each other. Um, it's not something that I need to be uh, concerned with at, at the moment. And, um, and I was actually filtering this. So if I down and now I can bring in Twitter. In fact, I'll just bring them all in. And you can always use the expand to see full screen. So I can see here that there's been some a like on the Twitter, uh, on a tweet and, um, you know, a, a new tweet that's gone out to uh, to everyone. So I've sent another email to the to the team. <clears throat> so now I can see that come in. This has gone up, so a number of messages. I've also got this notification. And I can go in and see what's what's gone on. And here's the reply from player 13. And another way that you could have could have done that is um, you can see the you can see the message here. So what I could do is just take in OK but and then it filters and I go straight to that message so I can see what that person's replying to. Now just to take a look at this, um, just to take a look at this widget, if I say edit widget, what I've done is I've created a filter with all the with all the staff from the bank. So these could be all the personas that I'm particularly interested in as this particular player. And then I've got this uh, filter, which is saying only show me um, uh, basically messages that are going to the staff, and these are all the and these are all the staff. And then all I did was I copied that. Um, this is account. You can see that there. Um, I just changed it here to account to staff and account. And this is my player. You can see it's an iframe. It's just an iframe that I've, that I've used an iframe widget. So yeah, that's that's how it um, that's how it works. Remember, you can create multiple dashboards. Um, so if there are other channels you wanted to look at, also related to this exercise, and you don't have enough room. So for example, like uh, Team Chat Plus is down here and logs down here. I don't have any data at the moment, but I've also put them on another dashboard. So if I need to like go to them directly, I can do that, and then uh, then I can go back to the baseline dashboard. I mean, this will load again. 
but um, it's easy to it's easy to flip back.